Today God wants to say something to you from the heart. My beloved children, you need to grin once more. Never forget that you are not doing this alone. Allow me to assist you. My angels are already at your side. Let go and have faith in me. Amazing ideas that I have for you. The plans I have for you are actually much bigger than anything you could ever ask for or imagine, which is why you should start feeling excited again. The greatest is still to come. This is the moment for fresh starts and new chances for you. The months of July and August will bring about a great deal of transformation as well as spiritual discoveries, healing, love, blessings, fresh perspectives, the end of difficult chapters, and the opening of new avenues. By faith, take it and receive it. Believe in me, I have supported you during all of your storms. You have everything you require from me. I have shielded you and will continue to shield your loved ones and family, even though things might be hard for you right. Now I have faith in my timing. Something is about to change in your life. I cherish you. Take heart, have faith in me. Like the video if you have faith, Almighty God. God claims whatever your circumstances may be, the joy that you have in me is unaffected by them. You will never be parted from me and my presence is filled to the brim with contentment. Pray for me how you travel along the path that you have chosen today. Disclosing myself to you is something that I love doing. Occasionally, I speak with you in magnificent and unmistakable ways, which are known as coincidences, and they are undeniably the result of my creation. In other instances, I make my unseen presence known through the use of subtle means. The majority of the time, these are so private to you that other people would not even notice them but these small indicators have the potential to be a source of profound and personal joy. As you become more alert, you will be able to discover me in the particulars of your day to a greater extent. Take care to maintain your vigilance and keep an eye out for me. The I mean, this is the place where I reveal myself to you the most clearly so fill your mind and heart with scripture allow the promises that i have made to infiltrate your thoughts and keep you close to mine hear the sound of my voice you have my trust and i am aware of you you are granted eternal life and no one will ever be able to take you away from me joy to the world it is possible to discover joy in the most unexpected of locations. On the other hand, this demands work, which entails looking for the positive and refusing to let your natural responses prevent you from seeing what is actually present. I will assist you in responding in a manner that is really natural providing you with eyes that see beyond the obvious and allowing you to find treasure hidden inside your difficulties comet lord always protect me just bring it to me there is an option to live a joyful life because you live in such a corrupt and broken environment you are required to make the decision to be happy multiple times every day when things are tough. This is especially important to keep in mind. You are being put to the test whenever something occurs in your life that disrupts the pattern of familiarity and contentment that you have been experiencing. 
these kinds of tests can both validate and fortify your trust, which is a precious commodity that is far more valuable than gold. Whenever you are confronted with a variety of challenges, I am teaching you to remember that it is to jaw I took the hard decision to go through the cross in order to experience the joy that was set before me the unending delight of bringing glory to those who follow me. Beloved, find joy by focusing your attention on me and searching for gems amid the difficulties you are experiencing. Whoever comes through me will be saved. I am the gate that leads to salvation. There are many diverse interpretations of what it means to live. I am not a life. In order to achieve your goal of living a life of abundance, you should avoid comparing your current situation to those that are an open door for you and for all of my chosen followers. Closed barrier, but I not only came into the world, but also into your life so that you may have life and experience it to the fullest. When it comes to living a comfortable life, you do not require as much money or as many luxuries as you. It is important to strive to be content with the fundamental necessities of life, such as having food and clothing. If I were to give you more, I would do so with joy and gratitude. Do not, however, cling to what you already possess or resent the things that you do not possess. My presence is the only thing that you may cling to without causing harm to your souls, regardless of what you have in this world. Always keep in mind that little or a lot plus me equals everything. I redeem you from hell, wing you with love and mercy. Vu in goodness and rejuvenate your youth. I have redeemed you from the heaviness your being satisfying. Wavers should be allowed to absorb my delight in you to the fullest extent possible. Share this video with nine individuals who believe in God by typing Jesus is God in the comment box. I look upon you first and foremost as my redeemed one, and I am wearing these lovely gifts on you because I take joy in you, although I am aware of your shortcomings and transgressions, my perfect love will never be our soul. Even though it is a heavenly crown and is encased in beauty that is forever, it is my desire that you always keep in the forefront of your mind the fact that you are my adored. In spite of this, your thoughts frequently become mired in insignificant topics, particularly when your mind is in a state of neutrality. I urge you to remain vigilant and to continue praying at all times because of this. Invite me to enter your circumstances, including your thoughts, feelings, and decisions. I will be there for you completely through communication with me. You will be able to concentrate less on insignificant issues and more on the wonderful realities that exist. I will bring about a renewal of your strength while you are waiting in my presence. No matter how old you are, you are always considered to be young while you are in my presence, and my presence live first and foremost at all times. You will eventually become more conscious of me than of the people and places that are in your immediate vicinity. This insight will not have a negative impact on the relationships you have with other people. 
On the contrary, it will allow you to be more capable of providing them with love and encouragement, both. Your words and your manner will be infused with my peace, in spite of the fact that you will be engaged in the world, you will be distant from it. Due to the fact that my all-encompassing presence insulates you from the impact of issues, you will not be easily rattled. In front of you is the way that I have paved the way. As you follow it with all of your heart, you will find that life and peace are abundantly available to you. You must not allow any particular set of circumstances to scare you as your day becomes more difficult. I will make more of my power available to you to use during this time. You appear to believe that I empower you in the same manner each and every day, but this is not the case. The first thing that comes to mind when you wake up is to evaluate the challenges that lie ahead of you and compare them to your typical level of strength. This is an adventure in the realm of unreality. I am aware of the activities that will be included in each of your days and I empower you accordingly. The degree to which I strengthen you on a particular day is mostly determined by two factors, the hardship of your circumstances and your desire to depend on me for assistance. However, I am always there to aid you and the attempt should be made to consider difficult days as opportunities to receive more of my power than is typically the case, please. Look to me for everything that you require and keep an eye out for what I will do. You will have the same amount of strength as your day. Right, I love you, Jesus, if you believe. My dear cherished one, don't turn away from the message God has for you today. He has something unique that he longs to share with you. If you're open to it, please listen attentively and respond with Amen after reading. My beloved child, do you hear the gentle calls of my voice reaching out to touch your soul deeply? I am the Almighty, the creator of the universe through just a whisper, and yet my deepest joy comes from being close to each of you, my beloved creations. You are the masterpieces I have crafted with infinite care and love. Come closer, my children. Find peace and comfort in my presence, your heavenly Father who will always be by your side. Let my eternal love and fiery passion envelop you like a soothing balm for your tired spirits. I know how weary and downhearted you feel in this troubled world. I see the heavy burdens of responsibilities and hardships that weigh on you each day. I was there with you last night as you wrestled with worrying about what tomorrow holds. Did fear clutch at your heart as you thought about the relentless demands of another day, endless tasks, traffic, delays, tough interactions, and the constant noise. Doubts may have flooded your mind, making you feel like your life lacks purpose or significance. The daily grind threatens to engulf you, leading you to despair that you might never fulfill your true potential or achieve your deepest desires. I understand the urge to stay under the covers a bit longer, wishing to escape the daunting day ahead. But remember, I didn't create you just to get by inside you. I've planted seeds of passion, potential, and a profound purpose 
that are meant to flourish dramatically, impacting the world greatly. These seeds are the dreams I've lovingly designed, just for you dreams of groundbreaking inventions, transformative art, businesses that enrich many or families, deeply rooted in my truth and love through the generations. Yet, these precious dreams often stay unfulfilled, stifled by the deceitful whispers that you're too insignificant, too weak, too lacking to make a real difference. It's time to awaken my sons and daughters. It's time to cast aside the dullness of comfort and apathy that has numbed you. For I am the God of the impossible, and I am pouring out a new strength of revival upon you to rekindle and propel the sacred dreams I placed in your heart before the beginning of time. Listen closely for my voice calling you to action. I am sounding a powerful wake-up call, not a startling alarm, but a thrilling trumpet blast calling you to an incredible journey. Can you feel my rallying cry stirring deep within, awakening a surge of purpose, urgency, and passion for the mission I have set before you? For I am the Lord of the harvest, and the fields are plentiful, but the workers are few. Many are waiting to be freed into the light of my glory. The culture needs to be won back for my kingdom, and I am seeking bold influencers and pioneers who will radiate my light brightly. Set your internal alarms, my children, and align every breath with an unshakable desire to live intentionally as my royal envoys and representatives of my kingdom, I entrust you to carry forward this mission. Embrace this truth deep within your heart. You are destined for greatness, not just to exist. God has imbued you with the seeds of creativity, wisdom, and vision tools designed to solve age-old problems that humanity has wrestled with for generations. Through the divine spirit within you, know that you are capable of achievements beyond your current understanding. Today is a pivotal day. It serves as a divine signal to awaken and step into the role you were meant to fill until God's return. Let go of the routine, the mundane sleepwalking through life. This morning is your wake-up call, urging you not to press the snooze button on your life's true purpose. Make the choice to awaken from your spiritual slumber. Instead of facing the day with dread, wake up with a heart full of joy and anticipation for what God has prepared for you. He has arranged a sequence of steps, divine meetings, and opportunities that will guide you along the path he has set for you. However, you must choose to rise, stand in faith, and step forward, eagerly watching for God's guidance in your life. From now on, live each day inspired by a clear vision of the life God calls you to forge. Let your mind be filled with the pursuit of divinely inspired goals, aiming for significant impact and influence. Position yourself like a child eager to learn from God, seeking the specific vision, assignment, and purpose He has uniquely crafted for you. God promises not to withhold these from His children who seek Him wholeheartedly. Once these goals are revealed to you, nurture them diligently. Write them down, keep them in sight at all times, and embed them in your heart to maintain focus on achieving them day 
by day. God is preparing you, equipping you, and guiding you towards these goals. Maintain a spiritual vigilance, always looking for how God will connect the circumstances of your life to fulfill His promises through your obedient actions. Trust that He will create opportunities even where none seem to exist. Dream big, for God did not create you for small and significant tasks that require minimal effort or sacrifice. He calls you to envision a future grander than anything you could achieve on your own. Such dreams should seem unattainable without divine intervention, pushing you into a deep dependence on God's Spirit. Ignore the limitations set by circumstances, reality, or critics. Focus instead on the expansive promises God has made and listen for His guidance whispered to your heart when you rely wholly on God's wisdom and perspective. There are no limits to what can be accomplished through you. As you walk in faith, anticipate God to do far more than you could ever request or imagine this humble surrendered Spirit is what God desires to empower and launch into areas of life that desperately need His light and truth. Type bomb and if you believe in Jesus Christ, God declares we have to keep reminding ourselves of what life is all about. Dot our destination is holiness, not happiness or health. Our lives are being ruined and consumed by the excessive number of interests and desires we have in this day and age. Many of them may be good, honorable, and true in the long run, but God has to make them less significant to us in the here and now. Whether someone will accept the God who would sanctify him is all that matters in the end. A person needs to establish a healthy relationship with God at all costs. Do I think I have to be holy? Do I really think that God can enter me and purify me? Should your sermons persuade me that I am not holy, I will become resentful of them. Because the gospel is meant to expose my unholiness. Hearing it preached causes me to become extremely resentful. However, it also makes me feel a strong need and longing. God only intends for humanity to achieve holiness. His sole objective is to create saints. God did not come to save us out of sympathy nor is he some perpetually bestowing blessings upon us. Because he made us to be holy, he came to save us. Through Christ's atoning work on the cross, God is able to reconcile me to himself once more. Dot by way of Jesus, Christ's death with nothing standing in our way anymore, never put up with behavior, that is inconsistent with the Holy God, whether it be out of compassion for others or yourself. Holiness, whole honesty with which you conduct yourself before God, the words that flow from your lips and each and every idea that you have exposes every aspect of your life to scrutiny. God says, type amen if you acknowledge my grace. Hey there, pay attention. Say this prayer with me and join me in it. Father in heaven, I am grateful that I have life today. I appreciate all of the affection you give me every day. I am grateful for the Holy Spirit you sent to be with me. Please enlighten me on the role the Holy Spirit plays 
in my life, please enable me to sense the Holy Spirit's presence in whatever I do. Allow the support system throughout these uncertain and trying times, please assist me in hearing the Holy Spirit's voice so that I won't ignore it. When I'm struggling, let me not try to rely on my own. Strength, allow me to rely on your spirit for guidance and strength. I am grateful that you heard my prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I resolve not to let bitterness or resentment accompany me into the new year. I release myself from every trauma and negativity surrounding me as of today. Please cover my spirit and myself with your healing energy. Empty my soul of any bitterness and menacing emotions. The only medication I need and want is you. I would be nothing without you. I welcome your flawless energy into my life and heart. I humbly beg that you please transform me into more of your likeness and give me a pure heart. May you fill my days with your unending love and may them pass without a hitch. I thank the Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you. Please support our channel. Our work is to bring happiness in your life and devotion to God. And if you want, you can donate to us via Super Thanks to show your support.